right, guys, I broke down. I couldn't resist. I started playing uh, my favorite deck, the deck that I love playing the most. I did lose one, but that was like a hands down. He was running uh, Red Lotus, and I had a normal card, so he just Econ took twice and then special summoned Red Lotus, and I had no cards on the field, and he just crashed. It was over. So that was... I couldn't avoid that one. But... I do have some dual replays for you. And let's start with the one that's not so crazy. It's a really cool... Um, replay. I was facing the Amazon S... Uh, Yugi Moto with... Or Yami Yugi with uh, Destiny Draw. Um... I just wrecked face. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Oh, come on. Load. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Retry. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, weird. Get closer to where I have better reception. I guess I'll make this video later. Oh. <laughs> so here we are. Yami Yugi. Both of these duels were really close. Even though it's my favorite deck to play ever, still doesn't quite make it. I start off with attack on the moon, and since, you know, he doesn't have something like Mind Scan, I set it for a bluff. And I set enemy controller because enemy controllers a good card. He attacks directly, and I find that to be, like, he's a very passive fighter, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to summon, and I'm going to use attack on the moon, and I'm going to switch, and I'm going to destroy one. And then I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> so I was playing very cautiously. I go ahead, look at, check at that prismatic Amazon as Swordswoman. I am kind of jealous of this guy. Like, I would run Amazon S if I had an Amazon S Swordswoman like that. Anyways, I, I pull a painful decision. Um, and then I destroy... I got to destroy the Wall of Disruption. And I attack, and I attack with the 1900 first. Which is important. Because if I attacked with the 2000, he would have had Destiny Draw. But not only would he have had Destiny Draw, he would have also had um, Golden Apples, which is what the face down is. I learned. Anyways, I check. So, I made sure that this is equipped to this, and this is equipped to this. And then I um, switched this to defense position and destroy this one. right and then I attack for 19 and he gets the golden apples and now he has destiny draw so I was a little worried and he goes ahead and attacks he gets destiny draw and I figured he's probably gonna have um, what's what's it called yeah that card the lava golem but you know it doesn't matter if it's tributed if it's destroyed or sent to the graveyard or whatever it's sends a monster, and I mirror wall, and then he just scoops. He realized that even if I didn't mirror wall, he would have still been a hundred life points away from getting the victory, and I had game. I, yeah, it was over. So, that aside, uh, I was going against a Mind Scan Pegasus with Cyber Angel, which is the most annoying deck to face. If you've ever faced Cyber Angel, Mind Scan is the worst because they already have an advantage with Cyber Angel because Cyber Angel is a um, meta deck. Having an having an advantage, blah, 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 having an advantage with. Um, knowing what is face down is way 
more discouraging because now he can play around like econ so I go ahead and activate this I don't set my attack on the moon like I did last time because it's the buffs don't work um, I set that and right away he gets his Dakini out which is kinda lucky for me because if he got something stronger than Dakini it'd be over he gets Dakini out and he forces me to destroy this so if you're paying attention now I have two in the grave right and I top deck something amazing and here's what I do what I could have done is I could have normal summoned and I could have attacked directly into it and gotten my Valkyrion out right then and there and attacked again but I didn't know what his face down was um, so it turns out him being in attack position mattered but it didn't matter because if he was in defense position and his Dakini attacked I would have lost Anyways, I summon him in defense position because what I want to do next turn is flip him into attack position with attack on the moon and destroy this card. He attacks with that, it goes down 1600, so I would have taken the exact same amount of damage that I already took. <clears throat> Anyways, he pulls back his Dakini, and here's the tricky part. If he has a Cyber Angel um, ritual next turn, it's over. He has the Mirror Wall. So he was planning on bouncing around that. I go ahead and use attack on the moon, pop that. I use tides that bind. I attack twice. He uses the uh, cyber angel ritual the first time. I attack again. He doesn't surrender, but he doesn't do anything that's going to do anything. I switch to defense mode. I pop the back row. It's a prismatic! Prismatic! Mirror wall. But that's game. La 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 <laughs> la. Like, I'm just sitting over here with my magnets, being a nerd. And I win. <laughs> Alright. So that is all. I was going to wait until we had, um, uh, until I had multiple replays, because I only have two right now, but that Cyber Angel battle was so epic, I had to share it. It was like anime epic, anime style. <laughs> like, he didn't have a gigantic misplay or anything, I was just able to perfectly play around the cards that were face down and not get my ass kicked. So, I was lucky in the sense that I played around the right cards in the right way. So, yeah. I was lucky. And I did well. And I deserve that victory. And he deserves that L. Actually, I don't know if he deserves the L. Maybe he does, because he's running Cyber Angel. Yeah, he deserves the L, because he's running Cyber Angel. <laughs> Anyways... I hope you enjoyed this fledgling gamer, and I gotta get back to work.